Hello, my name's Jade, and today we will be doing the festive Christmas book tag. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called. <laughs> I am currently ill, and my throat is not cooperating very well, so if I sound a little off, or if you struggle hearing me, I apologise. I haven't actually read through these questions yet, so we're gonna be going through them together. The first question is, a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with? one that's good at cooking. The one that immediately comes to mind is the one from my life next door. My eyes have begun to water. Once my eyes begin to water, there is no going back. I have spider one tissues though, so it is okay. I can't remember their name. I wanna say the Garretts? Jace's family from my life next door. They come to mind because it's a big family. Everyone's welcome. I'm sure they would try to make it nice. What other families are there? This is the trouble when you read lots of dystopians and apocalyptic books because none of them seem pleasant. I mean, having a Christmas dinner in the capsule might be fun. It's the Garretts, they're the only nice fictional family that I can think of, I can't think of any others. Question two, is a bookish item you would like to receive as a gift? Like an item from a book? Maybe like one of Katniss's outfits from the Hunger Games. Or does it mean like like a IRL bookish item, like something that I could actually get for Christmas? I mean, I'm gonna get the Night Circus for Christmas. Does that count? This is difficult. I should have maybe watched it before and figured out what it meant. I would like another bookshelf. That's that's feasible. I mean, I wouldn't be able to get one because I can't fit another one in my room. But my bookshelves are starting to get to the stage where it's it's a struggle it's a struggle to fit it all on if it had to be from a book though probably anything caro has ever touched because it's, it's bound to be cool right and karen i feel like she had something at some point that i thought was really cool and that like i would have liked that but i can't remember what it was i also feel like someone at some point had a piece of jewelry that i thought was really cool but again have I answered that question? Does that count? I don't know if there's any more I can give you. <laughs> Number three is a fictional character you think would make a perfect Christmas elf. Susanna from Daughter of <laughs> She would be very hyped for it and she would do the job justice. She'd also, you know, be bossing everyone around and making sure that things get done. Number four is match a book to its perfect Christmas song. Oh, don't know. I often will link a song down below that reminds me of the book because that's something I enjoy doing because I'm sad like that. So check my description box as you might every now and then see a song. I don't, I've not read any Christmas books. This is going to be interesting. The one by the Pogues, is that how you pronounce it comes to mind? The, the, the New York Christmas one. <laughs> um, in the beginning, they kind of insult each other a lot, even though... It's supposed to be more of a romantic relationship. I think I could be completely misinterpreting the song or misremembering it. Kind of like Juliet and Warner from Shatter Me, the way they kind of have that love-hate relationship. I've not read Restore Me or any of the new books. By the way, at this point, I've only read the original trilogy, just so you know. <laughs> uh, so that could work. Or I'm also thinking If I Stay could maybe pick a Christmassy song. You know, it's a very wintry, situation like winter wonderland maybe but that might be a little too much giving what happens in the book <laughs> also for if i say maybe all i want for christmas is you i'm gonna leave that there five is bah humbug a book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and should be put on the naughty list this year i didn't like frankenstein very much i was really excited to read it because obviously it's frankenstein it's a classic it's got a lot of hype and i didn't like it do i think i think really important things that happened were glanced over while really unimportant things we spent pages and pages and pages learning about and i just think it's very dull it's probably a time period thing it's a child of its time and all and also a lot of the things that make frankenstein iconic weren't even in the book i mean i that's fine i should have seen it come and i guess i think the things that have come like the films and what we think of Frankenstein now is much better than that Frankenstein. Possibly unpopular opinion. I'm not saying the book was bad. I'm just saying I couldn't appreciate it. Catching the Rye was so repetitive and dull. La la la. <clears throat> Number six is a book or fictional character you think deserves 
more love and appreciation and deserves to be put on the nice list. Yeah. Oh, genuine fraud. I really like genuine fraud. It. I had this whole kind of thriller mystery vibe for ages after it. I didn't love it though. What books have I read this year that I've loved? Oh my god, this year is so long. I can't even remember. Okay, so it turns out I've not actually read that much this year, and a decent chunk of what I've read is school books. So that's why I can't remember anything. I reread Eleanor and Park at the beginning of this year and I loved it so much more this time around. I loved it the first time, but this time like I loved it. Park I particularly enjoyed. Whereas last time I sympathised more so with Eleanor. And this time I, st I spent a bigger focus on Park. So I think that's interesting. So maybe Park and Eleanor and Park and just that whole situation. Oh, another one. I've not read that this year, which is kind of where I was going with that whole situation otherwise I'd just be naming books I don't like and books I do like because there's more love and appreciation. The Assassin's Curse duology, specifically the character Naji. I love him and I love that duology. Not necessarily like the finest of literature but it was just really, really enjoyable and really fun. Number seven is Red, Gold and Green, a book cover that has a wonderfully Christmassy feel to it. As in, do I need to find like red, gold and green or just a book cover that is Christmassy? I don't, I own one Christmas but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hunt and we're gonna see what I can find. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't find a lot. I have Let It Snow, which is a Christmassy book. It's got snowflakes on it. Look at the snowflakes, it's Christmassy. Uh, it's not got red nor green nor gold on it so i also have come back with useless magic by florence well she's a singer from florence the machine if you did not know for one it's cloth bound i mean cloth bound is very kind of decorative and uh, has that kind of very special ornate type feel to it which reminds me of christmas it's very red it's very gold i mean you got this weird little picture but just like ignore that and i, I there's something about this that gives me kind of christmas vibes might just be me isla and happy ever after is very green but i don't know about christmasy and i couldn't find any books that were all red green and gold hang on this is harry potter and the Tomb of secrets by jk rowling and this has green and gold and it has slices of red in it i mean harry potter is pretty christmasy right people often rewatch the harry potter movies over christmas so there we go. Those are the Christmassy looking books for you. I don't know. And the last question is a book or series you love so much you want everyone to find under their Christmas tree this year so they can read it and love it too. Well, I, the fifth wave, I think you can't go wrong with the fifth wave. I think the passenger duology to have some more hype. I mean, my faves, my home skillet, the fifth wave, all on our stars, we were liars. The Darkest Minds, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. You can't go wrong with any of them. You can. They're great. Read them. And that is all we have for this video. I will link um, the original tag and questions and stuff down below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very nice holiday season. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, slash night. My name is Jade. I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye. So you would like, you would think, oh, well, nom, 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 nom. Good reason can tell us what I liked. It's okay. That is run.